Okay folks, we had a five-pointer in Kenya that's very large anywhere in Africa. We had two aircraft vehicle incidents in the United States last night followed by a flood and landslide in the state of Washington and two more aircraft vehicle incidents in the United States. Also sweeping across the central United States was a fairly strong weather pattern that produced some tornadoes and some fairly uh, serious damage in Tuscaloosa. We have some uh, unusually large earthquakes for the Hawaii region as well and in the eastern part of Australia a couple dozen pilot whales have beached themselves and they do not expect many of them to make it. Folks, what you're looking at here is a quiet magnetosphere getting smacked with a fairly large coronal mass ejection and a minor solar wind stream from a coronal hole at the same time. This happened yesterday and we all expected it to happen. You can see here um, an ionization graph uh, from Atlanta, Georgia placed on top of ACES solar plasma. You can see that the impacts are the same. It had a serious ionization effect. Norway registered the same thing with strong, uh, strong ground currents uh, upon the impact of the uh, CME. I don't need to click on any of these uh, charts individually. You can see top left the flux gate magnetometer, the VHF Rio meter, the induction magnetometer, uh, all, all spiking when this impact happened. The harp ionison will have to watch in the next 24 to 48 hours. So you can see on the total electron content, it is spiking as well. We did have a geomagnetic storm. Uh, that's the red line there. Once again, folks, the KP index is not broken. It can't be broken. Uh, but well, folks, we're not really done yet when it comes to space weather. We should expect more geomagnetic storms, and that's because last night, while many of us were sleeping, we had an M8 and another coronal mass ejection associated with it. Looks a lot like the one that came out last time and produced a geomagnetic storm. As you can see here on a still shot from the Soho Lasco C3, it is a full halo coronal mass ejection. It is probably going to be coming at Earth. Earth's over there to the right on this view. You can look here on the Signet. <clears throat> It's a fairly large coronal mass ejection, and if you look all the way on the right, that little yellow dot is Earth, and you can see the splash effect definitely encompasses uh, the little yellow dot. Looking here at Solar IMG, you can see that the protons and the electrons from both GOES and ACE are spiking. Most importantly, look at the protons from GOES. This is what we use to determine whether or not there is a solar radiation storm, and right now, there's a big one. It's an S3 solar radiation storm all astronauts up there, and even uh, people flying in high-flying aircraft at high latitudes could be exposed to radiation risk. So folks, we have another coronal mass ejection on the way. I would expect another geomagnetic storm from this in a few days. And also, let's watch out for this massive coronal hole turning right at us right now. So that's the news, folks. Be safe.